hey it's Steph. welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you haven't seen my face before please press the subscribe button if you would like to see it again press the notification bell if you have seen my face before and you're returning thank you so so much and please can everybody press the like button down below okay so today i'm just gonna get right into it and i am doing a testing out cheap makeup so i always get these ads and like advert ads and adverts so I always get these adverts come up on my Instagram and it's like recommending like these really cheap like makeup brands and like all of the makeup that I buy it seems to be like really expensive and like overpriced seeing as I like I don't wear it that much. So I pressed on some of these brands and then I looked at like the feed and stuff on Instagram and I was like wow like these girls have flawless makeup so I was like why can't I have flawless makeup using their makeup so I did some research and I'll put up the video here of the one that I watched, but basically I saw some girls doing this amazing makeup with this, but they were all like kind of sponsored. So I wanted to see if it was actually good or not. So I went and bought a load of Shop Miss A makeup. Honestly, I am so excited to do this video and I don't normally do like makeup videos and stuff, but I'm thinking if this works and if this is like good quality, then I've started a revolution here. We are going to start off with this primer. Um, it says AOA Studio. So basically on the website, they had loads of different, um, this packaging's cute though. It, they're really small. On the website, they don't look small, but on the website, they had like different brands that you could use within the website. Okay, so this is the primer. It says hydrating face primer. Um, I did find this one that was supposed to like stop you from being able to see pores and stuff and that's the one that I wanted but every time I went on to buy it like a different thing was sold out just prioritized the main things and I thought primer wasn't that important and the eyelashes that I want didn't come but you can really just use any eyelashes can't you yeah, this is going in so nice I thought that this would be kind of like sticky I got the hydrating one because my skin is so dry and i guess if you have like oily skin and stuff this probably isn't the primer for you but it's adding some can you see that it's adding some shine some glow could be feeling this it smells like vaseline do you think i'm <laughs> do you think i've just hacked the system and i'm like rubbing vaseline on my face imagine it all came in this package and i didn't really know what it was because like it didn't have any branding on the packaging and then i opened the package and it was like this little plastic bag and it had like all the labels on top and it was very nicely presented so it was like nice they had done it nicely but it did take forever to come so like what was i expecting i forgot to say but i will be putting all of these prices on the screen so that you know how much these products were but the next thing that i'm going to do is my eyebrows so i bought two aoa studio wonder brow sets they're both like tinted brow pomades so I bought one in caramel and one in dark brown. Okay, so I'm just dipping into this pomade. There's a lot of um, pomade for how small that it is. Like it goes right down to the bottom of the pan. <gasps> Do you all see that? How how pigmented that just came on? Oh my God. Wait, what? I thought this was going to be like kind of see-through. That is incredible. One thing that I will say about this is it's very quick drying, so you keep having to dip into the pan anyway. And um, I feel like it's the kind of eyebrow pomade that could dry like a little bit hard, you know? But it's not one that you need a, um, like with a lot of my eyebrow pomades that I've bought in the past, I always put a brown eyeshadow over the top or like a dark powder, but I don't think you'll need that with this because like it's drying very much which is good, but you just can't spread it as much. So if you want it to blend. Okay, so now that I've got my eyebrows done, oh my God, that went quite well, I'd say. Like they're not like exactly even and they're not perfect and they are a little bit dark, but wow. That was really awkward to blend at the front though. By the way, all of the brushes that I'm using are brushes from home. They did have brushes on the website, but I've heard nothing but really amazing reviews on them. Also, I feel like if you Everybody already has their own bushes, you know? Okay, so my stories just ran out, so I literally just had to delete like every app on my phone. So next thing I have is a non-drying, creamy, long-wearing, medium to full coverage liquid concealer. I'm gonna try and work really quickly now because I'm really scared that my storage is gonna run out again and I don't actually know what I'm gonna do because I've literally just deleted every app off my phone and I deleted Instagram and I don't know my Instagram password, so that's gonna be fun. Right, so I'm just going to apply my concealer in the places that in the places that I usually would. Okay. On the website, it has like photos of like girls with like different skin tones so you can compare your skin tone to the girls 
on the website and like pick the best color for you and obviously they have like swatches down the arms and stuff but then there's like full faces of makeup where you can pick like your best color for you and i think that's great um but they don't have like a color matching system or anything like that right okay <gasps> that's gonna be way too light if this doesn't blend oh no <gasps> this could end in tragedy oh my god this has me so nervous right okay on the eyelids it feels kind of like not on the face but on the brush it feels like paint you know it's still like s sticking up even though like i'm putting those parts of it down okay i'm gonna do my eyes first because i feel like this isn't gonna blend too well so i'm gonna blend this in oh no oh that is so hard to blend i feel like i'm dragging my eyeball i think we're gonna have to go in with the beauty blender so i bought two beauty blenders this one and this one um one's a mocky wonder blender and one's a pawpaw wonder blender latex free super soft high definition sponge sponges the awkward thing about makeup though is that you can't return it so even if it's like terrible like i've tried it out now i can't return it can i Whoop. it says completely submerge your sponge into water and squeeze out the excess apply to skin use and oh dab the pawpaw sponge into your makeup apply to skin using a tapping motion starting at the center clean and air dry before your next use okay so i'm gonna fully submerge this in water like it says i think i'm gonna use this sponge because this will be better for like under eyes and stuff and i might use a different color okay so i have a cup of water here fully submerged under <gasps> oh my god i felt a swell in my hand that is satisfying squeeze out any excess that that i really enjoyed doing that i enjoyed doing it has these like little four dots at the bottom i'm not really sure why they're there but if you wanted to use this bottom bit i'm sure that would make it quite patchy right okay let's try this it says to apply the makeup onto this oh my gosh that's great it's literally not picking up anything you know when like a beauty blender just blends instead of like absorbing it what the hell that is crazy Okay, so my plan was to do this really extravagant eye look, but it turns out that my eyeshadow palette hasn't arrived. Either I haven't, like, pressed the thing properly or it hasn't arrived, but I'm a bit frustrated. This is the palette that I wanted to have here, but clearly I've either forgotten to put it in my basket or they've forgotten to deliver it, but I'll check that. Um, yeah, that's not great. Okay, so I'm just going to put, like, a little brush of something over my eyes. Okay, so I basically did nothing there. I just added a tiny little bit of light brown to my top of my lid, lid just so that my eyelids weren't as light but now i've got a few eyeliners so i will try i don't know i bought three i love that i've got three eyeliners but not of my eyeshadows so i've got a yellow it is color birthday and i just thought like i want to use some more vibrant colors during my makeup you know that's why i was supposed to order the very colorful eyeshadow palette and then i've got this red one which is in the color red velvet oh red velvet cake is like my favorite thing ever and then i have this purple artesia liner that doesn't look purple to me that looks black okay so i think i'm gonna do red plainly because of the rest of the stuff that i've got and that it goes with that best but i have never ever ever applied like a pomade eyeliner okay so we'll try it out but if it doesn't work then we'll just use the purple like pen because that's all i've ever used before okay so this is the smallest brush that i can find i feel like this is gonna go so wrong like i've only just learned how to do this oh my god this is scary right okay Okay, so somehow I ran out of storage again. This is the eyeliner that I just did. I'm gonna try to do it again because I feel like it wasn't the eyeliner that ruined it. It was me ruining it because my storage ran out and I've just deleted even more photos. So I literally have nothing else to delete on my phone. So I'm quickly gonna go off camera and do this and then I'll be back once I've done it. Okay, so that's my eyes. My wings aren't even sisters. They're not even friends, you know? They're pretty damn bad, but I don't even think that was down to me, right? I think that the the it's too much like crusty paint. But I've just tried out the liner on the back of my hand and I cannot explain to you how good this is. But it's not like purple. 
I think you'd have to buy a lighter colour for it to show up a bit better. But it was basically just like a really dark purple or almost like black. So you could use it as a black eyeliner. So that's what I'm going to use it as. But and basically I'm going to try and clean up this eyeliner. So yeah, I'm just going to fix up my eyeliner and then we'll move on to the face. Okay, so now I think it's time to do the rest of the face. So I have this AQA, AOA. Why do I keep saying AQA? Oh, that's because that's the exam board I did for my GCSEs, right? AOA Studio Pro Wear Full Coverage Foundation. Full coverage. We shall see. We shall see. The quality of this bottle is good. It says shake well before use. So I am going to shake well because I ain't about to have no separated foundation. This is the foundation that's like the girl on the photo was exactly the same colour as me. So this should be, oh, this is full coverage. I thought this would be like a, like a not full, look at that. Whoa, I've, n whoa, that is insane. No, no joke. I literally buy such expensive concealers to try and cover up my under eye bags because they're so bad. And look at that. No frigging way. No way. <gasps> no. That is incredible. That is incredible. <gasps> no, I, don't, I just don't even believe it. Guys, if any of you have any dark like areas on your face or any purpley areas on your face, any spot, this beauty blender is amazing as well. I feel like it's great that I'm someone who like, isn't like a pro at makeup doing this because like most of you aren't gonna be pros at makeup, are you? So it's like someone who's on your wavelength doing it too. And blooming hell, this is excellent. If you have any acne, any spots, anything you would like to cover, I am telling you now to buy that. Right, okay, so now I'm gonna do some highlighting underneath my eyes because I bought concealer so that I could put it underneath my eyes because like normally my eyes are terrible, but this has covered it. Okay, lady. I wanna see if this gives me spots though. Before this, I had completely clear skin and I had three little scars there. Um, but other than that, I had like everything was completely clear. So we will see if my skin's clear by the end of the day. I would like to clarify it is the end of the day. I'm actually just in bed and I'm editing right now and my skin is spotless. Not spotless, I'm not being arrogant. It's clear. My skin's clear. Look how bad my dark circles are. Do you understand? Like, look in the next clip underneath my eyes. I didn't look like this, did it? I don't even need to do this, do I? I don't even need to do this. Okay, so I'm going to use this second sponge. Dip it in water, completely submerge it even for a few seconds. Bring it out. It's so much bigger. Squeeze it all out. Oh my God, it's so satisfying. Gosh, I love it. I love it, I tell you. Right. Oh my God. This is such like a velvety sponge. This is like a good quality sponge. Right? I have this Real Techniques um, contour and highlight sponge right in front of me. And that's what I use every day. Like, it is amazing. This is more... That is more, like, it's softer. Right, okay. Time to blend. Oh my God, I might have left this too long already. See what I mean by it? It's like, you have to blend this fast. I feel like I need two hands so I can do it at the same time. Oh, that would be hilarious. That should be an invention someone makes. Another hand. <gasps> you know, some people are born with, like, extra features. You know, people who are born with, like, three arms. I bet it'd be so easy for them to do their makeup. They'd just be like, zoop -a -doo -a -doo, zoop -a -doo -a -doo. Oh my god, and everything would be so even. What the hell? I'm so jealous. Actually, no, I'm not. I love my two arms. I don't need three. Okay, so it wasn't blend. It didn't actually blend as bad as I thought it would. I think that you're so ugly. I think that you're so ugly. I saw this girl put these lines out the other day when she was doing her makeup, and I'm going to try it out. Don't know how it's going to end up. Does anyone else think that they've never, ever, ever, like I can't do nose contour, I'm trying to highlight the bridge of it now, but I've never, ever, ever seen someone on their YouTube channel, like they always contour their nose and then they don't show how they blend it. And I want to know because whenever I try to do nose contour and blend it, it ends up being like, I need to take off this bracelet, Pandora bracelet, thanks mum. She bought me all of the charms on my birthday, how cute is she? Um, I'm a failure in life. Oh my god. 
Okay, yeah, so what I was saying was, is that nobody ever shows us they're doing a nose contour and then every time I try to do it, I just have like a muddy, two muddy lines and then it makes my under eyes look dark and then I have like a white, I don't know. Or it just turns into a whole smudge of like, none of those colours, you know? You know? You probably don't know, you probably all know how to do nose contour, I'm probably just being an idiot. <sighs> it's a hard knock life. I don't think I've had this much makeup on my face in like maybe a year, but I'm enjoying doing it, so I'm gonna carry on baking my face. Oh my god, this is a this is a glorious moment. Okay, so next we have a banana setting powder. This scares the shit out of me. I don't even know how to use a setting powder. I've literally never used one. I used one once and I literally had like a James Charles moment. What are these little holes for? I'm so confused about this. Do I have to like put them through? Oh my God. I just accidentally tipped up. Well, I didn't accidentally tip upside down. I thought this would come out. And that has happened. All in my drawer, all everywhere. Blooming brilliant. And it's brand new as well. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip my brush in and make myself look like an idiot because I don't ever wear this much makeup so i have never had to put is this a i don't even know if this is the right brush oh my god it's definitely not oh my god i wish i was more of a girl so obviously i'm mixed race and i've got that skin so i've never known what like what to use i and then so i asked my friend kia who's also colored she's actually the only person i know um and she said that she uses banana setting powder. So I just searched up banana setting powder. And then that is not looking good for me. Okay, guys, we're going to stop with that. Guys, if you know how to use powder, you know how to use powder. I'm, I, honestly, I couldn't tell you if this is good or bad because I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I hate it. Right, okay. Wait, let me dab a bit of highlight on. I didn't buy highlight, so I know that this is cheating, but it is also a cheap highlight. Um, I actually went and got this like a few weeks ago. Um, well, actually, my mum did. I was like, mum, I ran out of highlight. And she literally went into a drugstore and bought me this Technique highlighter. And it's, I kid you not, wait. Can you see that? You can't see the full greatness on camera, but I'm telling you, it's better than the benefit one I was using before. My boyfriend hates red lipstick. He always goes on about, ooh, look how wet my teeth are. He always goes on about how stupid girls look with red lipstick. He says that they look like clowns, right? She makeup. I bought this and I think it's the dupe of the benefit lipstick. And I used to have this in the, like, the actual benefit one. I mean, I still do somewhere, but like, you know when, does anyone else have this problem with benefit where they put the lids back on things and then they can never get the lid back off like i've had it with like palettes where like you put the lid on and it's fine and then it's like and you can never get it undone ever ever right okay i'm gonna stop moaning now but it's basically like the top they're like two different colors top and bottom so we have like a darker color well actually on this one it's a lighter color at the top and a darker color at the bottom and it works as like a lip lining you know when you like blend in your lips two lipsticks to like make an effect that's basically what it does for you Can you see the like two different colours? Okay, so that looks like it's working. A little fun fact for you all, I haven't worn lipstick in over a year. Maybe two years. I haven't worn it since I used to do dance shows. Did that do a thing? Did that do a thing? Did I pop off? It's like not the same colour as my eyeliner though, so it's kind of frustrating. <gasps> I kind of like it though. And then anything that would go in your teeth doesn't go in your teeth, so you never have to deal with that. You've got something on your teeth moment. Oh my God, yay. Okay, last thing, we are going to put on some powder, some baking setting powder. We're going to 
I literally don't know where you put this. I've never used this before in my life. God, she is a lost cause. So I think that this went pretty well. So this is the finished makeup look. I think, I think it's nice. Okay, you might not think it's nice, but I like it so. I feel like a bit of a clown because I'm literally not going anywhere. I'm literally sitting in my house, but I really like this. I think this was so good quality for the money. The eyebrow pomade, buy yourself one. The foundation, buy yourself one. The lipstick, buy yourself one. The pen eyeliner, buy yourself one. Don't buy pomade eyeliners because they're just a little bit crusty or the powder if you don't know how to use it. Yeah. Lol, it's literally not even been, it's not even been six minutes. That was a bit too much for me. I just don't think I like lipstick on me. Oh my god, I forgot to say, if you're still here at the end of the video, stop. Press the like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And don't not do that because that's really rude and I put in so much effort onto this video and um, I spent money on it and um, I don't get paid to do this. So it's all coming out of my own pocket. So thanks a lot, guys. Love you all. Bye. Oh, it's still on my little list.